The servers of Singapore's public hospital and polyclinics are still being targeted by cyber attacks, which may result in occasional disruptions to their websites. Now, this is according to an update by national health tech agency Synapse. Two days after the country's public health care clusters were hit by an eight-hour-long internet disruption. Now, Synapse says that error messages like this one were due to a distributed denial-of-service attack. Now, that's where attackers flood servers with internet traffic, preventing the real users from accessing online services. The agency says that it has systems in place to defend, to defend against such attacks, but the surge, well, that still overwhelmed its firewall. The attack affected services that require internet access, such as websites, emails, and productivity tools. It stresses that healthcare data and internal networks were not compromised in this incident. Synapse is investigating the issue with the cybersecurity agency and is in the process of filing a police report. It's also working with service providers to defend against attacks. This could be a long drawn battle. It can be minutes or even hours. Uh because during the actual attack, it's a head-to-head -head arm race between the defender and the attacker. The attacker obviously cost their money, actual money, to, to uh, initiate longer attacks. Uh, but the defender on the other side is that, uh, can they scale their server quickly? So it really depends on, first of all, how much resource the attacker is willing to put, and second, how much the scalable resource the defender could uh, uh, invoke in a short period of time.